Okay, here we are, Bucko. Thanks. Yusuf. Hey, Luis, my man. How's things, bro? Yeah, not that great. My father, he is a very passionate and angry and very disrespectful man. But listen, can you come and meet me at the construction site? I have something to discuss. Yeah, okay, man. I'll try to come by. Yo, T. Where have you been? I got here as soon as I could, bro. Oh, man, Louise Gracie. Louise Gracie. What about Gracie? They got Gracie. She's gone. Evan's dead. Now Gracie. Fuck Evan. Who's got Gracie? I, I don't know. So what are you talking about, bro? Where is she? I, I, some guy's at war with her father, I guess. I don't know. Hey, Gracie's pretty tough. She's a princess. She's a tough princess. Well, if they fucking hurt her. Yeah, they'll have you, me, and my family to deal with. <laughs> you never liked her. You never did. You never liked anyone. That's not true. I like her. No, you didn't. She's my favorite go -kart. Oh, and what makes you so good, huh? If it wasn't for me, you'd be selling dime bags on a street corner. I made you. Yeah, and she and Evan made you into a junkie, okay? I mean, she's not a bad person. Okay, she's not a murdering, greedy psychopath like me. She's so hard. I don't know if you can get past the accent, okay? But she made you into a useless old queen to act out on blowing pills to notice his business is going to shit. Oh, here we go, huh? Here we fucking go, huh? Oh, I see it in your eyes. You're embarrassing me. You see me and think, oh, this is it. This is the moment to put me down. This is the moment when the apprentice takes over, huh? Oh, man. You think I'm done? You're not so fucking tough, Luis. And you're not so smart, you dumb junkie. Fuck. Oh, yeah. Fuck you, Luis. Oh, come on, Tony. Chill out. Oh. Oh, no, you're right. You're right. You're not the one with the problem. I am. <laughs> Tony, what the fuck are you doing? No, I'm holding you back. I see that now. I see that now. The closest thing I've had to a son. I'm sorry, Luis. I love you. Tony. Goodbye. Tony, c c come on, man. Goodbye. I love you. Shit. Shit. Fuck. <laughs> ah. <laughs> the fuck is wrong with you, uh. you dumb prick? Huh? Get up. Get up so uh. I can kill you myself. Get up. Uh. Okay, okay. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm sorry. I, sh I just couldn't take it anymore. Uh. Come on. Get up. Uh. Get up, you old bastard. Oh. Huh? Let's go find Gracie, okay? Okay. Oh. Jesus Christ. Oh, shit, Louise. Jesus Christ. We should go and get the Ancelotti's chopper. It's just on the other side of the booth tunnel. Chopper. What do you think we're doing on this Audi? We're looking for Gracie. You got any ideas where we might start doing that? It's a big city, though. I may be semi-suicidal, but I'm not completely stupid, Luis. You ain't even semi-suicidal, T. You're just overdramatic. I wouldn't be surprised if that gun was just a movie prop. We've been in enough shit recently for me to carry something a little bit more dangerous than a prop gun. You think you'd know enough with all the shit we've been in to take the safety off our gun before you use it? Fair point. I'll get a post-it note for the next time. Disengage before a suicide attempt. Self-indulgent cry for help, you mean? Okay. I need your help, Luis. You're all I've got left. You happy now? I said it. Well done. You win, jackass. Okay, bro. Where are we looking for this girl? There's some lowlifes and dukes who might be involved. Losers even by current mob standards, which is saying something. You from dukes, ain't you? I try to forget about that. Okay. So we head over there and do what? Land on the roof and ask them where they got Gracie? We just got to follow them. See if they take us anywhere interesting. Okay, bro. Let's hope for the best. Who knows what they could have done to that girl? She could be dead at the bottom of the West River now. Or she could be driving some son of a bitch kidnapper crazy. I wouldn't wish that nasal whining voice on the worst guy out there. Gracie's got my backing over some chump hook from dudes. You're right. That could be the smart bet. Her old man said something interesting to me, by the way. Oh, yeah? What'd he say? That he's blaming us for this whole thing. Either we get her back, or we're dead. That's definitely interesting. How the fuck did he get that in his head? I barely know the girl. It's the diamonds, Lou. Rocco's had a word with him. Motherfucking Guido here, Joe Cabron. Shit, Rocco just forwarded me a photo of Gracie. They've gagged her. This is where they keep the chopper.
Come on, hurry up, man. We're checking out is over in Cerveza Heights. So, this isn't about Gracie? It's about saving our own asses? Yes, this is a purely selfish act. Are you happy now? Yeah, strangely I am. Now that I've realized I'm being blackmailed into doing this, it's become a lot clearer. Great. How are we gonna get out of this, Tom? What? All this shit piling down on top of us. How are we gonna get out? Have we got a plan? I don't know. We could play the lottery, start a little Ponzi scheme, buy some cheap diamonds and try to sell them at a profit. Oh wait, we've tried that, and it's not going so well. Fair enough. You could marry a billionaires. That might get us out of our problems. Oh yeah, I've already been pimped off once, T. And I nearly got killed because of it. I'm serious, Lou. Most of the girls in the city have fallen in love with you at least once. How come you can't manage to find a rich one? That's the house, up there. is leaving. Follow it. Where's he going? I don't know where he's going, you idiot. That's why we're following him. Okay, all right. But which way do you think he's heading? West. I can see he's going west. Where west? There's a lot of shit west of dudes. Could be Algonquin. Could head all the way over to Alden. He might not be going west at all. Might be heading over to the Eastboro Bridge so he can get himself up to Bohem. Fuck! Might just be heading down the block for a slice of pie. Shit! Okay, okay, I take your point. If you see him stopping, let me know. You'll see him stopping too, bro. You ain't going to sleep on me, are you? You think I can go to sleep in a moment like this? What? You ain't got your pills? No, I don't actually. I didn't even take an anti-anxiety, and you know how I feel about flying. You'll throw a guy out of chopper, but you won't go for a ride in one? You should have shared your anti-anxiety pills with the Celebrinator. No amount of pills would prepare you for that. Don't fuck with the Thorny Prince Empire, baby. That's what's up. Public relations at its finest. If we could throw every fucking blogger out of chopper, bro, keep them fools in line. We could start an outsourcing company. We'd be rich overnight. Strangely enough, that's exactly what we need to be. Stop driving suspiciously, Lou. He'll get wise to us. Get wise? What are we, in some gumshoe novel now? I'm driving as unsuspiciously as you can when your boss only forked out for a weekend helicopter course. If he's getting wise, it's because you're a tight ass. You being anti-Semitic now? Nice. Next you'll call me a fag. Oh, yeah. Play the minority card. Very clever. What's he going back to the park for? He on to us? He's just going for a drive, T. Come on, you dumb dukes, fuck! Take us to her! You yell loud enough, he might just hear you. Maybe if we concentrate hard enough, we can will him to go there. I thought you got over that spiritual shit when you stopped dating the yoga instructor. There are things that stick with you forever. Like the fact that he could get his ankles around his ears and he ate a lot of mung beans. That image is gonna stick with me. Jesus. Where are these guys from? Other than Dukes, I mean. They're an Irish operation headed by this maniac called Gerald McCreary. He's doing time at Alderney State. Irish like those guys who robbed our bank? They could be the same ones that held me hostage. Stranger things have happened. What would they need a mob boss's daughter for when they got all the bank's money? How the fuck do I know? I guess greed is a powerful motivator. I got an idea. Great. What is it? We stop that fuss car, we rig his balls to the battery. By the time he smells them cooking, we'll know exactly where Gracie's at. This is a great bit of improvisation, Lou. But I think we should just follow him. Leave the torch to professionals, people in government. He's going into the tunnel. We're fucked. He's only got two exits, T. He should come right out over by where we picked up the chopper. Or he could hijack some other car and we'll be sitting here waiting for him with our dicks in our hands. Hey, my dick's in my pants, not my hand, T. And it's staying there. Let's just wait to see if he comes out. There! He's coming out of the tunnel after all. You know how they got Gracie? Something to do with that pink piece of shit car she had. They think the guy pretended he wanted to buy it. She should have got suspicious the second anyone expressed interest in that thing. Actually, wait, I can see you driving a pink car, T. Why? Because people call me gay, Tony? In that case, you probably...
probably think I've got massive sculptures of cocks in my apartment as well. Gay guys love that shit. You cliche loving moron. There was that one marble thing you bought. That was art. Yeah, giant veiny penis shaped art. At least you made a profit on it. Those were the days. a shit we're following. They would have checked that. Let's see if he comes out. That's him, isn't it? He better fucking take us back to Gracie now. Sacramento. Call it in. Let's get this bird on the ground, Lou. You gonna call him? I'm texting. Look at you, bro. What? Down with the kids. You work in the business, Lou. You should know that club promoters are the first to master all new forms of communication. Always find a new way of profiting. If we pull this off, we'll profit. We'll get to keep our spinal cords. Great. I like my spinal cord, bro. It would be a fucking shame to lose it. Okay, man. Let me know if they find Gracie. I hope for our sake they do. See you soon, partner. this country's ethnic food chain than mine. So don't fucking condescend me. Uh -huh. So don't fucking condescend me. Oh, I got Senora Sensitive here. Hey, look, I respect you, so I'm gonna talk straight a second. Tony's pissed a lot of people off. You need to control him. Tony's gonna calm down as soon as you stop sending us on suicide missions. Oh, look at my position. Some serious Yo's. You think the higher powers are gonna stop expecting envelopes from me because of the homo's midlife crisis? Doctor's notes don't cut it with these people. Be reasonable then, Rock. Chinatown? Bahama Mamas? Those fucking bombs? That's some out of control shit, man. No! Tony's some out of control shit. Think about what he has got you into. But if you think about it too long, then there might be no getting out of it. Comprende? Not really, bro. Goodbye. Oh, yeah, thanks. You shut the fuck up, man. What's wrong with you? Oh, yo, yo, easy, amigo. I'm just pleased to see you. Yeah? Come on, baby. Give me some skin. Come on. What are you doing here? Well, you know, it's my father. Uh... Hey, you know, my ancestors, we built the pyramids, baby. We built the ziggurats. <laughs> we invented math and shit. I'm here. I'm not afraid. I get my hands dirty. No, well, I can work. Whatever, man. How's it going? Oh. Epic, homie. This shit is epic. People write a babble about this shit in the future, baby. I'm talking luxury on a whole new level. This place is going to be so expensive, people won't even be able to afford it. <laughs> it's going to be drowned in gold. 
No, it's like, uh, yo, yo, yo. Is that a diamond in your pocket? You just pleased to see me and shit. <laughs> Whoa, man. You no, know, the sales sheet's going to say, ah, the impossible dream. Priceless indulgence. Style by Yusuf Amir. Timeless classic. Timeless classic! Yeah, sounds perfect, man. Just what the people want right now. But what are you doing here? I'm crafting this whole thing with my bare hands. Okay, cool, man. Listen, it was good catching up with you, okay? I'll, I'll see you soon. Yeah, not so fast, homie. Yo, could you uh, give me a ride to my helicopter? I, I can tell you something along the way. But I thought you was busy building the pyramids. Yo, all work and no play makes use of a dull boy. Come on, baby, it'll be fun. Head out to the east side of the Algonquin Bridge, my dude. Turn left. Yusuf, bro. Hand over some more exploring shotgun shells. Love those things, man. What you after this time, man? I got you that tank thing in the chopper. What now? You want the Statue of Happiness for your backyard? It's an excellent idea, my friend. But that will have to wait. All right, then. What we after? Wait for it. I'm waiting. You ready? Just fucking tell me, bro. A motherfucking subway train! Oh, yeah, baby! The prize of the fleet. The ass-fucking flagship of the LTA. Give it up! What you want a subway train for? We're taking that shit out to the Gulf for a new Liberty City theme development out there. Check this out. A genuine LTA submarine train. Get that shit going through a precious and delicate coral reef. Ah, perfect! Aside from how fucking dumb that sounds, how am I supposed to take that thing? Not gonna be easy, dog. No one likes people fucking with their public transport in this paranoid age. Can't you just buy yourself a subway car, bro? No, man. Shit. We need the genuine article, the real deal. You think we could put the Amir name to anything but authentic shit? Yo, how am I supposed to pull this off? Okay, we just need the front car of the train. You jump on board, you climb to the front, and you unhook the car. I'll handle all the rest. Real simple, man. I don't know why I hang out with you, bro. Because you fucking love this shit, Obi. Ain't nothing like rolling with this Arabic bad boy. I have to go now, man. Wait here above the tracks.
Okay, if we walk in confident, we have a good time. Okay. Hey, you on the list? Yes. No. Yes. yes. Then you're not coming in. Oh, wait a minute, man. We're relatively important people. We're going in, bro. I don't give a fuck who you think you are. You're not coming in. Come on, man. I'm a VIP. We, we come here all the time. Hey, Des. Hey, man. Tony, I ain't seen him. Hey, man. Luis. Bro, can you get us in? Hey, Brucey. Yeah, sure. Uh, Desi, take care of them. Thanks, man! Keep it cool, keep it cool. Man, I'm going to see some vagina tonight! You walked in with one, bro. What? Never mind, man. Hey! So I'm going to go get the drinks! Okay! Good seeing you guys, man. I gotta take care of something. Hey, wait, listen, can I just say something, man? Listen, can I just say the way you dealt with Bori, man? I was really great. Thank you. Hey, uh, don't mention it, man. Unless you want me to kill him. Maybe. Hey, listen, you know, you're just like me. That's right, you're like a, a lone wolf. An adventure. Tough butt. With a sense of this. Not really, bro. I like killing for money. Yes, yes, I know, but that's just your thing, man. Ugh. What's your problem, what? man? Nothing. I didn't mean nothing by it. I'm not gay. It's cool, man. Just don't do it again, man. Hey, look, I fucked three girls last night, man. One of them can't even walk. I mean, now. If she could walk before, she didn't need a wheelchair or anything. Look, I was just checking to make sure you weren't gay, bro. Yo, not a problem, man. I, I gotta go. Hey, listen. Hey, Luis. Come on, man. We gotta go. Let's go. Alright, man. Peace out, bro. Thank God you showed up, bro. What? I never thought seeing you would make things feel more heterosexual. I'm gonna pretend I didn't hear that, sweetheart. Yeah, it's probably best. We're heading over to Fish Market South. What's happening, Pete? We're getting Gracie back. She's coming home. You mean taking her back? Or this gonna be my deal? God, I hope so. They're getting the diamonds for her, so they better behave. Shit. Wait a second. Slow up, man. What have the diamonds gotta do with Gracie? What the fuck have we got to do with Gracie? Should her old man be handling this? Apparently the kidnappers have asked for these rocks, and we aren't being given much of a choice about it, if you catch my meaning. Oh, great. Angry mobsters, kidnappers, maniacs. Sounds like another fun day.
need to get over to Charge Island, Luis. They're expecting us to dock there. Tony, man, these diamonds. What about them? Yo, man, Rainbow God is claiming ownership, and he's got some serious resources. Maybe we should think about handing them over to him. We got two options, Lou. Either we give them to the Russian, and Ancelotti kills us, or we give them over to the kidnappers. Crazy lives, and we take our chances with the Russian. All right, man. Sounds like you got everything figured out. I got nothing figured out. Half the city wants to kill me, but they'll be lucky if they can get a chance before I die of a heart attack. Easy, though. to bankrupt ourselves. Oh. <sighs> Last chance, D. So you want to hand this stuff over? Sure, I'm sure. Father's gonna kill us if we don't. Yeah, it makes it nice and simple. <laughs> yeah, lends a lot of clarity to my thinking. Gracie, you all right? The bastard didn't hurt you, did they? She can't speak. We got a gag in her mouth. Give her back, you animals. She suffered enough. Hand over the stuff. Hand over Gracie. I'm here for you, sweetie. Hand over the fucking stuff. All right, calm down, both of you. Oye, we put the ice in the middle. We walk back. Then you send over the girl. We leave, and you pick up the stuff. Entiende? Sure. Show us the goods. Come back to me, honey. Let her go. Okay? Tony, you're fucking pathetic. Get the motherfucker off our boat. He can't hear you, babe. Don't in a world of his own. He let go. Now turn around and get those assholes to kidnap me. Pussy, I order you to go back there and kill them. Grayson, you're gonna have to shut the fuck up right now. We don't need to be doing this for you. You and Tony are fucking pussy! I'm gonna make sure my dad fucking has your... Hey there, muscles! No need to hit a lady! She don't got a mouth like a lady, Tom. And the way she was acting, she was gonna get us killed. I should have given her some pills, but oops! Ah, I took them all! <laughs> Sleep it off, man.
happening? You got Gracie back safe and sound, Tom. I hope she was worth two mil. You hit her, right? She had a boating accident. Make sure her old man understands that. I don't want to see her again. Okay, sailor. So long. Listen, man, I told you. I didn't know shit about who won them diamonds. Then maybe you should have asked. Instead, you ran around this city making a fool of me. You and your faggot boss will be killed for this. I will do everything in my power shit. to... I think the scene was dropping, man. Later, bro. Don't. Fuck, Lou, have you heard? That our lives are falling apart? No. No, and sort of. The city's closed down the clubs. You serious? Those motherfuckers. All this fucking bullshit, and we forgot to pay off the Citadel. Shit, D. Maybe this is a good thing. At least we can concentrate on getting off every gangster's hit list. We better do it quick. There's no more money coming in. It's only gonna get worse for us. Fuck me, I need some blow. What could you possibly have to say that I'd want to hear, Rock? Time to face the facts, Jack. Frankly, you're fucked. There's a rich Russian having a powwow with the old man about you and the fag. FYI, they ain't talking about handing you a special commendation. Well, what the fuck are me and Tone supposed to do about that? Let's leave the homo out of this for a minute. Me, me, and Uncle Vincenzo in the public toilets in Middle Park. We gotta talk in person. Come on, Watch it, asshole. Down my hot nuts. That's what I told him. That shit would never have happened back in the day. <laughs> What's up, ladies? Still living the high life, I see. Fuck you. What you doing here, cruising? It's very funny. <laughs> you know, Mr. Ancelotti's still blaming all that diamond shit for Gracie's kidnap? Well, you did bring the heat down on the club, so... I can understand why they'd blame you. Yeah, and those chinks, they're still fucking pissed at that dispute of ours. Again, fair enough. Whatever, it don't matter, right? What matters is the Russian has come to Mr. Ancelotti and said he wants the head of anyone involved with the diamonds. Now, on top of all that Gracie and chink shit, the old man is pissed. He <laughs> wants blood. I think we can cut a deal. We give him one body, all right? So basically, it's you or Tony. One of you has to die. Me and Vince would prefer to work with you and the clubs over the faggot, so you're lucky. You kill Tony, you get to keep the clubs. You and us together, partners. Either that, or the Russian is gonna send some serious people round to whack you and the fag with Ancelotti's sanction. Yeah, you both get whacked. <laughs> you're way out of your league, kid. And you? You're a fucking loser hanging out with children living a fantasy life. I ain't killing Tony, but I may be about to kill you two fucks, though. Then you're a dead man. You and your family and those spick drug dealers you hang out with, you're all dead. It's your choice. It ain't our fault. Fuck you. Think about it. I'll be in touch, you fucking spick.
Alright, Luis! Ray, listen. You fuck with me, Luis! No, no, not at all. That's how things seem. But trust me, that wasn't my intention. You fucked with me! And now I'm going to fuck with you! You little cunt! You are dead! 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 You understand? No. Could you say it again, please? Fuck you! I'm still not getting it. What about a third time? Can't! Bye. Yo, L, what's happening? Stuff got weird with Tony, Des. There's some really bad shit that might be about to happen in there. Oh! There he is. Thank God you got here, Luis. These, these fucking guys. I talk to them. Tell them we can figure it out. It ain't that simple, Tony. Sure it is. We got money coming. We can expand, refurb, rebrand. I'm an earner. I'm a survivor. I've been in this game since 1987. Ouch. The terrible irony. You better tell him. Tony, man. What? Things are kind of fucked, man. These guys, man. These fucking guys. You never should have brought them in, man. Now somebody's got it. You know. The mix is with us now. You gotta be fucking kidding me. Times change, Tony. Your brand of charming homosexuality, it's kind of run out of steam. Someone has to pay for what's gone down. Do it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, man. After all we've been through, Lou! I'm sorry, T. You... You was family, man. But it's either you or all of us. The Russians are coming, man! We don't got time for this gay shit! Fucking pop him already! You fucking moron! Hey, I had second thoughts, man. You fucking killed yourself just then! There's Russians, fucking everyone, they're coming after you! The old man, you're fucking dead! The both of you, they're coming any second and they're expecting corpses! We better not disappoint then! Ah, keep your head, Lou! He's a made guy! Fuck him! All right, get out of here, Rocco! But... This is for the old man and that's it! You're a dead man, Taco! Get out of my club, you fucking mook! You sure that was smart? You sure not shoot me was smart? I don't think so. Ah, all right. If we're gonna operate, we're gonna need some, some goodwill here. What now? I don't know. Didn't he say the Russians are coming? Doesn't stop, does it? Outside. Then we're gonna have to go meet him, boss. It's gotta end sometime. Any of
of them come through here, I'll have your back covered. You are surrounded. Get out of my town! He sent more guys? What a fucking idiot! Killing him? Fun! Are you fucking kidding me? Even more of them? Don't be stupid, T. T, please, don't be stupid. I'll just come find you. Shit. What's up? Staying out of trouble, man? You better believe it, bro. Totally guilt-free. It's business, business, business with me. Yeah, why does that make me think you're about to ask me to do some dumb shit? Damn, what do you take me for? I'm a giver, not a taker. I don't need anything from you. I want to make a gift of my car to you. It's a special machine, but, you know, what you have done for me recently is more special. Thanks a lot, bro. You didn't need to do that, though. No, I did. Yeah, there's a little bit of fun for you in the glove compartment. I think you will enjoy it. All right, man. I'll check that out. Yo, and thank you again. Sure does. Thanks a lot, Yusuf. We are brothers. It is nothing. I've got three more myself. <laughs> See you soon, my friend. 